All right, go ahead. Hi there. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about adjusting the cables on the PowerSafe uh, BCS trackers. That would be the 749, 750, and uh, 739 models, all equipped with the PowerSafe clutch, which is the hydraulically actuated uh, clutching system that BCS is using uh, on some of their models. So, the up here on the handlebars, the interface levers for the power safe clutch are both the clutch lever on the bottom and the safety lever on the top. So the proper operation of the power safe clutch uh, is that you have to squeeze the lower lever first, then depress the safety lever, and then while the safety lever is depressed, you have clutch control. So meaning when you let this out, you get power to the tractor. When you squeeze this in, it disengages power so you can shift gears uh, or stop the tractor temporarily. And then when you release this, it's going to go again if it's in gear. The safety lever on the power safe units essentially is, con is controlling the same clutch function as the lower lever. That is, this is also a clutch lever. That is, if I'm driving forward and I release this, it doesn't kill the engine. It actually just opens up the clutch so the machine stops, just the same way it would if you squeeze the lower lever. Um, but the way BCS has got this set up, you can't depress the upper lever until you depress the lower lever first. You've got to squeeze this, then push this down, and then you have clutch control. So, and there's a reason behind that madness, and it is that if, if you were just able to push this down any old time, then say you, you released the lever, walked away and got a drink, came back and uh, started talking to your buddy, the tractor was still in gear, just the clutch is open, preventing it from moving, and you just lean down on this lever, well, if it could just push right down, the, the tractor would just take off. So they don't want you to do that. They want you to actually know what you're doing when you're using the clutch. They make you do this first, then that. Well, the problem that we've seen so far is that on the older BCS machines, and even the, the current BCS machines, with manual clutches in them, that is non-power safe units, this is an engine kill switch. And folks who use those, uh, who have ever used a BCS tractor with a manual clutch, are used to this being the kill switch. And in that system, you have to push this down first before you squeeze the clutch. So the operation is essentially backwards. And a lot of people make the mistake with the power safe units of trying to push this down first. And what we've seen as a result of that is that um, the, either the cable uh, sheath gets compressed a little bit, or more often, it will actually bend the actuation lever down on the clutch pack. And we will now bring you down here to the bottom end and show you exactly what happens here. So we'll probably bring the camera in kind of directly up over the top if there's enough light to do it. So I'm going to actuate the levers from the top end and explain what's happening. So this one here, this lever that's moving now is the lower lever on the handlebar, the lower black lever. This one here is the red lever. The pivot points that these levers pivot on in the transmission, the pivot points are here, it's this bolt, and this bolt directly down in here. So those are the axis that those levers pivot on. Well, as you can see, if I start to pull this lever here, it's trying to, th this cable anchor point is actually to the right side of this pivot point. So it's trying to pull this lever back this way. It's trying to turn it to the right. It can't do that. There's, it, it's not supposed to travel that way. This is the safety system actually that keeps you from in, uh, pulling down that top lever first. What happens is when you squeeze the, the lower lever, there's a little bump down here on the bottom it comes up against this tab and it pulls this lever back to the point where this cable is now pulling slightly to the, to the left of the pivot point and it can go ahead and pull it the way it's supposed to. So basically this, this is the upper red lever. It cannot pull until this one brings it around enough, just enough, that it can, it's past the center point and it can now pull. Now, when I release this, the tractor goes, and if I release this, the tractor stops, or if I release this, the tractor stops. Essentially, 
both of these levers are hooked up to relief valves down in the down in the clutch body. So when either of them is in the relief position, there's no pressure to the clutch plates. So you can see what it's supposed to do. Well, now I'm going to screw up. That is, I'm going to depress the red lever without pulling the black lever first. And you're going to see what happens. This piece of linkage right here, this lever, is going to bend. Force that thing down. There. And it is bent. It didn't bend much, maybe an eighth of an inch or a quarter inch. But guess what? Now there is so much slack in this cable that even if I pull this lever in, there's hardly sufficient, look at how, how little movement I've got in that. It's not even going to come to the, to the fully working position. So, and, and when I bring it back, it's, it's just stuck there in the corner. So, I have purposely bent this linkage, but this happens quite commonly in the field if you mash down that red lever without pulling the black lever in first. So now, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to pop this e-clip off here. This is a, there's a little e-shaped clip on the top of these cable eyes holding them in. They're a bugger to get off. There we go. I didn't drop it. There. Now I'm going to take the cable off the top of that little post. And now I'm just going to get some kind of a pry bar. I'm going to use this I'm going to try to use this pliers as a pry bar and I'm going, to, I'm going to put the lower end of this against the top of this bolt down here to use as my fulcrum. This may not work and I'm just going to use the top of the pliers to kind of pry it back this way. And it may not work. Let's try something else. Let's try this wrench. There we go. I bent it back. Probably have to bend it down slightly. Okay, that's probably pretty close to its original shape. Now I'll put this back on there and we'll just test it real quick without putting the e-clip back on. Ah, yes, much better. Look at all the throw I've got here now. It actually moves it to close to the original distance. That, that lever is still a little bit warped out of shape. I'm probably going to work on it a little more here. Take that cable off and push this down a little bit. Might even uh, grab a, uh, a hammer and a little bit of a punch or a screwdriver and whap on it a little bit like this. There we go. So if that lever gets bent enough over time, it's going to weaken the lever to the point it's not going to stay in position anymore, so you'll just have to replace that lever. But for the purposes of this video, perfect. We're right back where it needs to be. It brings it, the, the black lever brings it over center, and I've got plenty of throw here, and it feels nice and smooth. And note here that your cables have to be adjusted with enough tension that they move those levers pretty much fully. You can have a little bit of slack. See how I can, with the, with the handles on the handlebar in the release position, I can kind of move this cable around a little bit. It's not bowstring taut. What BCS says is that with the handles swung around in the, uh, the front PTO position, which would be the mowing position, you should have, let me grab one of those pliers here, you should have enough slack in the cables that if you've got these eyelets off of here, Basically, the, the hole in the end of here should be just past where it would go on here. That is, I don't have to, um, I'm not stretching the cable super tight to get it on here. I've got maybe a millimeter or a half a millimeter of extra slack past uh, the point where the, where the pin would line up with that hole. So we're good on this. Uh, although, right now the handlebars in the rear PTO position, so I'll need to turn these handlebars around to give it a good test on these. Because the handlebars, when the handlebars swing around to the mowing position, the cables do get tighter. That's why they want you to set the cables with it in that position. But this is going to be pretty close, and you, you get the idea. And I could repeat that test with this other cable, but it would look just the same. That is, you want the eyelet to be able to go just past it. And if, even if you just do the wiggle test like I just did here, if you've got some slack in these cables, you know you're pretty good. Not super amounts of slack where 
where the cables aren't doing what they're supposed to do. They have to be able to move those levers enough. For example, if this cable here, if the cable on your black lever is too slack, it's not going to pull down far enough to pull this one back over the center point. So, you know, we've had some issues where people said, I, I depressed my black lever on the bottom and, all, and I can't, I, it's just really hard to push down the, the, black, the uh, red lever on top. And it's because their lower cable has gotten out of adjustment enough that say it's only coming in maybe this far and it's bringing this one to just about the center point, which when it pulls, it doesn't know which way to go. It doesn't know whether to pull the right or the left. It's got to bring that one in significantly past the center point so it can go ahead and pull it to the left like it needs to. So I think that pretty much concludes it. Thanks for watching.